What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and I'm sorry for the damn flickering light. But I'm also sorry for the shitty quality after the good quality video last last video I made. But I figure this is kind of important because a lot of you people a lot of you guys and gals out there were uh, messaging, uh, <coughs> messaging me on Facebook Messenger and regular Facebook. I've been kind of uh, depressed lately, and I never really said why. Also, people on um, PSN are kind of uh, kind of bother me, DJ. <laughs> but. I figure in the video I might as well just say it. A lot of stuff has been happening lately. And by a lot of stuff I mean like a lot. And I, I have a lot that I'm kinda doing uh kinda dealing with right now. Um the first thing is obviously court. I I anybody would be uh really kinda depressed and saddened about that, so I guess, you know, you have to go to court for whatever reason, but, um, yeah, I mean, that would, I mean, I'm, I know it's not until, like, the 30th or whatever, 31st, whatever, basically the end of the month, but I'm still worried about that. Another thing I'm worried about, kind of, is the whole fact that, quite literally, this is uh, not just my depression talking, but actually what I feel is true. I feel that everybody uh, treats me as if I was a criminal, treating me as if I was you know, a horrible person. Um, I know what parts to stay away from here in racing whenever I go out dumpster diving and trash picking and just overall in general, just like walking somewhere. I know what places to avoid here in racing because I, uh, racing has some bad parts. But, I don't know. I and mean, I feel like I and mean, that's why I'm going to court in the first place. It's because people are considering me some, I mean, they're treating me as if I was a criminal. You know, uh, the other day, I think it was yesterday or so, I was walking towards, you know, my usual dumpster diving locations, and I took a path that I probably should not have. Um, because, uh, there are these people, I, I don't know their names or anything like that, and probably for the best, because I'd be even more freaked out, I guess, but, maybe these were the same people I had issues with before, you know, um, I told you a story how I went dumpster diving, you know, and trash picking one Tuesday, uh, well, one Monday night going on a Tuesday, and it was like three something in the morning and whatever. And I think they still think I was trying to rob them, and I'm not. I mean, I would never do that. I mean, seriously. Anybody who knows me knows that I would never steal from people or rob them or, or uh, have any ill intentions or criminal, you know, criminally ill intentions, but, and I understand it was like 3 or 3 in the morning and all that stuff, and we even cleared it out with the, the sheriff and all that stuff, but yet they still are fucking just dicks about it, because when I was walking, I, I, wasn't, I didn't even look toward that direction, I wasn't even paying attention to those people. And they said to not come around their house, otherwise they would shoot me. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, 
I mean, okay, yeah, their house is on the left, and on the right is another person's house. And, um, I was trying to take a shortcut to go to my usual dumpster line locations. I could always go another way that takes longer, but I will. Um, I mean, all of racing is walking distance. But anyways, the fact that they said that they were going to shoot me, and this is not the first time either, um... You know, I've had people actually shoot at me, and they were probably doing it by mistake, but I still feel like people are trying to kill me in this town. And I just really want to leave this town for good. Never, I mean, this, I mean, I've always kind of really wanted to leave this town, not just because of depression and people doing that, but because bigger things. You know, I want to go to a bigger place and just live my life how I want. You know, YouTube videos and, you know, a high-paying job and all this stuff. Now, the thing is, and like I said, a lot of stuff has been going on besides the fact that people are treating me as if I was a criminal and I'm not. And the fact that, you know, just different things in court and all this stuff is why I'm kind of depressed right now. But, I mean, I just overall feel like I'm a horrible human. Like, a fucking just horrible person because of all this. Like, I wouldn't be going to court if it wasn't for myself. I mean, I feel like I'm, I, I know I guess I am the reason, but... I also feel like the entire town is trying to kill me in some way, shape, or form. Whether literally taking a gun and trying to shoot me, or wanting me to kill myself. Now the thing is, I know I'm not. I know I'm not a horrible person. I know I'm not bad. I know I'm not this evil person that everybody thinks I am. But... You know, when you are depressed and and all this stuff, I mean, you can't help but think of this stuff. You know, and I even tried playing some GameCube games. I tried playing Call of Duty Finest Hour. I played, uh, well, actually earlier yesterday, really. Um, it's 12.40 in the morning right now, so it's technically a new day. So, earlier yesterday, I played some PS1 games just to get psyched up for getting a memory card. Um... And, you know, usually that would help, but I just didn't really feel like doing much of anything. You know, I didn't feel like playing the best game ever on the GameCube, you know, uh, Mario Kart. I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't even feel like sleeping. But, I mean, at the same time, when you're depressed, you get bored as well. I mean, because you don't know what you want to do. I mean, I make videos every day. That's something. And these videos, I try the best I can to um, be the happiest person I can and to do some awesome, badass, fucking awesome videos and stuff. And like I said, I apologize for the lower quality of this video. But I feel like it was so important that I, I can't wait any longer to really say why and all this stuff. I just... I don't know. There have been multiple things, again, that have been making me this way. Now, I don't want to go back on any antidepressants and all that stuff. But... I think, and here is something that, that is basically the atomic bomb drop here, is that ever since I really moved here to Racine, Ohio, and I've always had a shitty life since I was born all the way to like age five, you know, Brian and all that stuff, but the atomic bomb dropping here is that ever since I moved here to Racine, Ohio, everything has been getting worse and worse, and worse, to the point where I think anybody, 
people have moved town because of me. Uh, that's why I think anyways. Um, the fact that people are trying to kill me, people, you know, they don't like me. I mean, it's obvious. Nobody really does. Um, you know, there are a few people, but how long is that really going to last here? You know? Because one of my friends, um, Paige, on Instagram, she said, you got a long life ahead of you, and all this stuff, and, and it's true. I mean, my big dream is to go to L.A. and make it big as a YouTuber, along the, the ranks of Markiplier, Matthias, you know, or, you know, High Five Studio, really, and other people, to become one of the very best of uh, YouTubers. And, I mean, something has given me a, a small bit of hope. Markiplier got to start in Ohio, right? He started out in Ohio. I got my start in Ohio. Yeah, in other words, I started YouTube, basically, in Ohio. And he's in L.A. I know he worked before this and all that stuff, but there's still just a smidget, tiny fucking bit of hope here. It's a tiny bit of hope here for me that, you know, I could be famous on YouTube and stuff like that. Now, I mean, it's possible, I guess. But, the thing is, the way I've been living for these many years, I know I a lot of people are going to have their lives better because they don't let things get to them. You know, if shit ever goes down and shit's hitting the fan, you know, just all over the place, they just say, oh, well, fuck it, this kind of stuff happens. As for me, I think every possible logical, you know, logical reason as to why this is happening, holy shit, I'm the one that did this, I'm the one that caused this, blah, 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 even though I know I'm not. But, <laughs> you know, it happens. I think personally... I have fucked up in many, many aspects of my life. And actually, I'm blaming uh, Brian for this. You know, my um, father, who's no longer my father, thinks fuck that. But I blame him for the most part. Because if he wouldn't have treated me so badly, so horribly, I probably wouldn't have had as bad of life. I would still probably be in Dayton. I mean, yeah, I'd still have a YouTube channel, but I wouldn't be uploading daily like I am right now and stuff. I'd actually have a job. I'd have uh, plenty of people to support me. I'd have this, I'd have that. I'd have plenty of other stuff to, you know, ha I might even be famous right now if I lived in Dayton. You know, because I would have had better paying jobs, more jobs to choose from, more chances to make money, you know, more everything. And I would have bought, you know, a gaming PC. I would have bought some good editing software. I would have bought, you know, a better camera, a better this, a better that, a better everything. That's basically ultimately why I bought a phone from Amazon, why I bought an iPhone 4. Is because, and especially a 32 gig, is because I want to do better quality videos. That's the whole reason why I would use that phone. Yeah, I'd use it to play some games, you know, like Walking Dead or Pokemon Go or stuff like that, and use, like, you know, screen capture stuff, obviously. But that's ultimately why I bought a phone off Amazon, is to kind of have a better, you know, view count and better everything, you know, have everything better than what it was using this thing, this Kindle. But I'm kind of straying far from the point here. The point is there's, there has just been enough stuff to make me kind of depressed in a way and 
Yeah, kind of thinking negative about everything, you know. That's just how I, my brain usually, my, usually I'm actually a happy guy, you know. Looking at my shelves, and I'm like, oh, I have a lot of cool stuff, a lot of good video games. Look at my PS1, my PS3, GameCube, and, you know, my, my Game Boy Color with Pokemon inside. You know, I'm looking at these things, I'm like, hell yeah, I love these things. I'm, I'm glad I have these, and, you know, the times when I got these, they were actually pretty cheap. And, you know, $40 for a GameCube is actually pretty good, you know, $45. But, you know, there are times in almost everybody's life, especially at this point, where you're not always happy. You're not always going to be like, oh, fuck yeah, let's make this video, let's make the most of every fucking day, let's get this shit started, let's go, let's go, let's go, hurry up, eh. You know, no, it's not, it's not every day you're going to be like that, you know, it's not every day you're going to be full of enthusiasm and ready to kick the day right in the balls and just get things the way you want it going. Sometimes things like this happen, you know, sometimes depression happens. And you don't feel like doing anything. You think that the world is coming to an end, which I don't really mind. I would, I would actually love right now if the world ended. That's not depression. That's just full on, fuck yeah. You know, I'm so excited. Like, if the world ever ended, I'd be popping up with some champagne and be drinking like a madman. <laughs> Even though, like, I'm not legally allowed to drink. I'd be doing it anyway. <laughs> but, you know... And it's not every day that I have depression, but when it does, it's something. And you know, a lot of people are saying, "Don't let you know, don't let these people get to you and all this stuff. Be the better person, and whatever." But if this if this is my entire life right here. This is I've been so used. I'm used to this by now. I'm used to people accusing me of things I didn't do. I'm used to people treating me like a criminal. I'm used to people basically being fucking retards and dicks toward me. I'm used to everything. I'm used to it all. I, I really am. So when you're used to something like this and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, there are days I'm happy, you know, I go dumpster diving, trash picking. I find some cool stuff like maybe I'll find a DVD player or I'll find something useful like... Maybe a, a bag full of cups or something like that, you know, to drink water or milk out of or whatever. And maybe I'll find some DVDs, um, something like that. Maybe I'll find some good clothes from the resale store uh, while dumpster diving. Or I'll go to the park and find some cool stuff left over from a party or a yard sale or something like that. You know, those days are fucking awesome. Um... I might upload a, a video of that. I'm not sure. I might. Depends on if I'm up and ready. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is t uh, today's video. Just kind of really why I have, why I have, why I have been uh, depressed lately and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's just whatever, um, so, I know things are probably going to get better, maybe, <laughs> I hope, you know, and again, I don't want to go back on medicine, I just stopped that shit back in like, um, February or March or whatever, I don't know, I just stopped uh, doing that altogether. Um, so, I don't want to get back on that shit. Bad enough, we don't have any money, there, we wouldn't have the money to pay for it anyway. So, whatever. And, anyways, so that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a like. I, I know things are probably going to get better, you know, um, it's taking time. But eventually, I'm going to become popular, become famous, become somebody. 
eventually. And when that time happens, I'm going to look back at all the times I've been depressed and be like, fuck yeah. I finally achieved my goal, my dreams. So that's a positive way of looking at things, even though I've basically been depressed out this entire video in a way. But, you know, all I have to say is if you have depression, try to stay a po try to stay as po yeah, fuck it. Try to stay as positive as you possibly can. Uh, there have been times where I've been depressed to the point where I actually just like cut myself and whatever and yeah. And actually drew blood too. Yeah. But there have also been times where I basically fight myself. Literally. I, um, would say something like, oh shit, you know, I wish I was fucking dead, and then I just start talking back to myself, like, oh, fuck no, fuck yes, fuck no, fuck yes, fuck no. I just thought it was cutting myself in the face is what it usually resorts to. But, you know, I mean, I'm looking at all the stuff that I have, again, I'm happy with all the stuff that I have, I mean, obviously I, I want more, I mean, who doesn't want more? But, even if this, all the stuff that I have in my room, is the, the last things I'm ever going to get in my entire life, that's fine. I have a good amount of GameCube games, and PS1 games will last me a while, I guess. I got a lot of good game systems, I got ponies, I got a lot of stuff. And, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of in that gray middle right now. Like, I'm not depressed, but I'm not really fully happy either. I'm like, kind of in the middle. So anyways, guys and gals, that's it for this video. Again, if you like this video, please give this video a like. If not, that's fine too. Uh, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts if you want. And uh, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams or whatever the fuck else I do. And, um, yeah. As always, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, people. And bro, boom.